Good day, YouTube. This is Jay with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just bringing in another article uh, slightly similar to the uh, last couple uh, series in the uh, Neo series tonight. Uh, just come across this one, thought it was rather interesting. Uh, the uh, $600 stimulus investors are buying stock in uh, Tesla, Neo, and Pfizer with stimulus uh, checks. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I. Uh, work in uh, Walmart selling uh, cable for a uh, internet and cable for a uh, cable company and I see people uh, buying big screens constantly every single day so I know a lot of that stimulus money is going into um, um, big screen TVs which is good for Walmart uh, if you have Walmart stock uh, but this is um, even better here that they're uh, putting it into uh, some stock so I thought it was a good thing so just a quick article to uh, go over here. Um, every week, uh, Benzinga, or you can call it Buzzinga, uh, if you like Sheldon, uh, conducts a survey to collect sentiment on what traders are most excited about, interested, or thinking about when they are managing and building their personal portfolios. Uh, some of the sectors to buy with your stimulus check are uh, electronic vehicles, uh, which is a Hot uh, topic, financials, consumer discretionary, healthcare, and consumer staples. Of the respondents, 58.8% of traders and investors told us that they will buy electric vehicle stocks. Uh, which, if you follow my channel, I have uh, Tesla, quite a few uh, NEO videos. Um, I do hold uh, Lee Xping, and I have uh, pretty much stock in uh, everything that I uh, talk about. So or uh, try to for the most part. Of the respondents, uh, investors most frequently cited Tesla, Neo, and Lee Auto as the stocks of the uh, top of their wish list. Of course, only a fraction of one share of Tesla could be bought for $600. Uh, shares last week were $880.02. So if you hold uh, Tesla, or if you've been holding it, uh, congratulations. Um, I'm still holding mine um, as long as it takes, so uh, don't plan on selling it. Um, hopefully it'll split again and just keep splitting and keep going up. So that's uh, my uh, philosophy for it, so just hold it for the uh, long term. Additionally, 18.1% of investors are putting their stimulus checks in healthcare companies. The most wanted stocks in the healthcare industry were uh, CV vaccine producers, uh, Moderna, and uh, Pfizer, and if you follow my channel, I have uh, quite a few shares of uh, Pfizer. Uh, some days it makes me mad, and some days I uh, like it. It's just kind of trades kind of flat. Um, uh, if you follow my channel, you can uh, see some of my other uh, Pfizer videos. Um, but if you want a good, solid stock that doesn't do much volatility and has a pretty decent dividend, that's uh, one for you to consider. Uh, again, I don't give uh, tax, legal, or trading advice. It's up to you to do your own due diligence. Just bring in some uh, good and interesting stocks your way, and so we can all uh, build our community here and make money together. Uh, next were financials, uh, which saw 16.2% of support from respondents, traders, and investors. Uh, told us Bank of America and Wells Fargo are at the top stocks they would be adding to their portfolio with their $600 checks. And as you can see, uh, Bank of America has uh, went up here in the last week or two. It's also another um, one like Pfizer that trades kind of sideways, just kind of stays in this uh, 28 to uh, $30 range, but it's actually um, up a little bit. I uh, did a uh, Bank of America video about a week or so ago. You can find that in the library as well. I do not have any uh, Wells Fargo. I've um, considered it since it's uh, getting down there at a low, but um, that's for another day. But um, uh, responders, respondents told us they were mixed on putting their $600 to use in consumer staples and consumer discretionary companies. Walt Disney was the most sought after company from the consumer discretionary group. And as you can see, it's had a uh, great run in regards to the um, uh, Disney Plus. It's um, really went up here in the last month or two. Um, I have a couple shares of Disney, maybe five to ten, nothing special. Um, 
should have bought more before it took a jump, but I didn't, so I've been watching other things, but um, that's just it uh, for this article. I thought it was kind of an interesting article. Uh, this is just one that uh, kind of goes over NEO announced partnership with NVIDIA to develop a new generation of automated driving EVs. And I kind of went over that in um, some of my other videos that I also made tonight in regards to uh, why the price is going up. But I would definitely be watching these two stocks tomorrow. And this is just a um, another one. Um, it just kind of goes over a Neo Day announcing the 150 kilowatt solid state battery technology, which increases energy density by 50%. Uh, so some very good stuff uh, for NEO and uh, go ahead and watch my other NEO videos. I just kind of released a, a series of them tonight. They're each about five to seven minutes and uh, whatever else I find, I will uh, be doing some others as well to uh, keep you all updated. So again, this is uh, Jay uh, with Falling Forward Financial. I don't give tax, legal or trading advice. Uh, just bringing uh, some NEO videos to you, and uh, happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.